Hi, and I'm going to uh, right now race through a sort of brief overview of Builder, um, go through as much of the functionality as I can and discuss it just so that you have a rough idea of what Builder can do. Um, as you can see, I've already imported Builder into this project um, and it's all in inside the Builder folder. Um, it only adds one menu item uh, in Game Object, uh, Create New Builder Building, which is uh, like uh, all my assets. Um, so you just go ahead and click that and it will create a new building game object in the scene. Um, and obviously there's nothing in there at the moment, but it gives you the sort of start screen, that, um, gives you some options on how you can go about starting your building. Um, as you can see here, we have um, we can start it with a basic square or by drawing a square. Um, and that sort of just creates a basic square building. You can also start the building by drawing walls, which is what we're going to select. We also have procedurally generate a building, which is um, something I'll probably go into in a different video. Um, and you can also uh, bring in uh, XML that you might have exported from another building uh, in another project. So we're going to go ahead and start by drawing the walls. Now with this, we can literally just click in the scene some walls uh, to sort of define the floor plan. And when you click on the the first one, it sort of completes the uh, circuit and and creates the building. So now we have a, a basic floor plan of a bizarre, but bizarrely shaped building. And as you saw when we um, for the menu, when we uh, clicked on this, it actually goes into floor plan mode, which gives us all of the methods uh, available to us to modify our floor plan. Um, the sort of basic ones where we can recenter the floor plan. So you you might have actually uh, have your origin in the wrong place. So this will recenter. Uh, either the floor plan or the origin into the center of the building. Um, we also have uh, new volume plans. So a volume. This is a volume here, which is um, you know sort of a, a section, a volume of building, um, and you can have multiple volumes in Builder uh, to allow you to have different volume, the uh, different building heights within the same building, or you could have separate buildings themselves. Um, so we could uh, we'd extend the wall here. And that creates a separate uh, volume, which can have a, 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 its own height um, in this building. But they are connected here. Um, we can also remove buildings. We can split the volume. Um, yeah. uh, to create an, uh, create two volumes out of one volume, things like that. Um, we also have volume plan modifications. So we can do things like split wall. And create a new wall point, um, and that will just modify the actual uh, volume itself. It won't create any new volumes. And um, additionally, at the bottom here we have a core modification. A building core is sort of where the lifts and the, the stairwells are in a building. And with the introduction of interior generation in Builder, we needed to uh, add this option so that you can put stairs and lifts in to make your to get to the higher floors in the building. Else, there's no way you can get up. So here we have a basic sort of generation. We can just add a core here, and you can just—it's just—it'll always be a square at the core. We're not doing anything more complex than that. So we can define a core here, and you can have multiple cores in the building. Um, so that's floor plan. So once we've done the floor plan, uh, once we're happy with it, you can move on to texture. So as you see, as soon as we click on texture, it actually begins generating the building. This is sort of the basic building design um, and sort of it defaults to about 10 meters high which is four floors um, so we want to add some textures in Builder we default sort of define three textures that will kind of get your building moving along so that's uh, let's just define these let's just add some bricks we'll add the window let's add these windows um, and we'll add a roof. So now we have the textures done. Now we're all in. But there needs to be a bit more def definition. As you see, the windows are completely messed up and the, the, the wall doesn't quite work. So in bricks, we want to define that this actually has a pattern. As you can see, this pattern needs to be defined. So as you can see down here, 
we can change a pattern. So, so we're defining like the size of the pattern in this texture because all textures, sort of, brick textures, have a sort of a defined pattern. We kind of want to find something like that. So as you can see, the the walls sort of more go along. I don't like this wall texture. I just think I'm going to go for a different one, nice red brick one. And let's go. There. So here we can see, sort of uh, using the brick pattern, it will try and uh, place the the brick pattern properly. And the windows, uh, we want to actually these aren't tiled; these are actually just straight sort of textures. So the whole thing goes straight along. Um, but I want to sort of tile that to make that look a bit better. So let's tile that. So that's that's textures sort of you can play around with that. We then go into facade designs. So basically with Builder we have all these facades and at the moment we only have one type of facade design de uh, uh, defined. So we, you can define various uh, designs and the designs can get quite complicated. Uh, we're going to add a new facade design and we're going to, like the simple design is everything looks the same as you can see here but we can actually go into a pattern to design and start defining um, specific bays. Uh, so here's the default one um, and here are the variables for the default one. Let's add a new bay design. So we've got two bay designs here. The second bay design, let's make the windows smaller and wider. And we can't see that yet because we haven't sort of stuck this new bay design onto the building yet. But we'll do that in a minute. We can go into roof design. At the moment this is just your standard flat roof. Uh, but let's, let's do something a bit more interesting. Uh, we'll go for a mansard roof. And we'll add some dormers. There. Just leave that for now. So with the roofs, you have sort of various designs that we can go for. Uh, some of them, like this lean-to, we only um, we only allow for sort of a four-point building. So it's worked with this four uh, four-pointed building over here, but it doesn't work for these more complex shapes here. Um, and barrels the same. Um, I also sort of do have a hipped one which uh, works on a sort of a straight skeleton uh, algorithm um, but it's, it's not um, and then you know sort of industrial sort of stuff can go on but I'm gonna leave it flat for now we can also add building details so I'm just gonna add I'm gonna call it chimney Here, Not this chimney design. I think I've added the wrong, the wrong. There, that one. Um, we want to stick this on the roof, and there it is. We can just drag this along here, just stick it there. So you can add your own meshes, um, your own sort of uh, custom meshes. Builder comes with a selection of basic ones, um, and there's one. And we're going to go to new building. Um, interiors. So by default, Builder doesn't generate interiors. Um, it is simply a matter of clicking this, and it will generate them. Can't see them, but if we go inside, there are the interiors. And you can see here the core, there's the building core cutting its way through, um, and then we get sort of options here. You can color all the bays if you want, um, if you want to put your own windows in maybe or something like that. Um, 
back here we actually in the facade designs we do have options to cull specific bays so if we went to the default we could untick render bays because it's all one design removes all of them but if you wanted to remove just say a door that you had defined then then that's the way to do it in facade designs otherwise um, here you can also uh, define uh, textures so we have window bricks we want to define more textures for that so say add for I think I believe I, we have a carpet texture and then here we have it tells you which floor we've selected so we've selected this volume one floor in red sort of charming against the red bricks but we can change it to a carpet and for simplicity we can use these values for the entire building it will change everything to carpets so there you can select textures on a volume and floor by floor value so you can have different different carpets and walls for that um, but that's the interior generation uh, we finally have the building generation so here we um, here we can actually start to define uh, where our facade styles go so let's add another facade style and at the bottom we're going to say new facade here it is and there's those windows we made longer and and shorter um, and we can define sort of it on two floors and then this on two floors to give a pattern and going back to interior design uh, we can take that new bay design and we could just take off the one window if we wanted just a one bay closed uh, if you want to make doors um, doors are bays like windows they're just openings in the building so that's how you'd make a door by default you know it's just a really tall window uh, that sits on the ground so oh, this one and there we have doors I'll do a separate door tutorial just for people who don't want to watch the whole of this video just for that but there are a bunch of doors there just going back to building you can see here we also ha are able to and as you see the chimney raises. And if we had defined more roofs, say let's uh, go into roof design. And we'll add a new roof design. And this one will be mansard. Let's go back here. We can select volume two. And we'll select volume one. And we can define this as the mansard style. So you can have multiple roof styles in the same building. Finally, have some basic options here. Um, we've got light map supports. So uh, we also have build tangents up here, um, and Builder doesn't build tangents by default. Just that. Builder doesn't build tangents um, by default, uh, mainly because uh, it is a quite an expensive operation, and when you're, you know, if we were doing that every time you were modifying the building it would take ages to update um, we've also got an optimized mesh of runtime which is just a basic function um, that unity has uh, that we can call also got some other sort of little functions the underside of the building you can decide to render or not render um, and also include a, a basic collider uh, in the generation There we are. Uh, and you can also sort of generate foundations if, say, you're building it on a slight slope or something and you need you need a little bit more building below to sort of create a foundation effect. Finally, we have a, our export options. Uh, you can export to FBX or OBJ. Um, you can export the whole thing or you can just export like a low detail version. Um, oh, actually. Going back here, 
uh, we can actually, you know, you click on load detail version and that will create a very basic mesh for low LOD. It will sort of pull things, pull the images into one big image. It's sort of all one draw call. Um, you can even go even further down to a box outline, and that's just that's just geometry. There's no, it just takes the whole texture. So the uh, export options, uh, you can export to OBG or FDX. You can export a load detail version only, or you can pump it out as a prefab. Um, you can have it placed in the scene once it's exported as a as its own model. Um, but this gives you the option to sort of create a model out of this rather than uh, a, the generated builder model. Thank you.